Hello everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a sometimes neglected aspect of video creation and editing that can make your videos that much better, and that is sound design. In particular, I'm going to be focusing on sound effects in this video, but the basics of what sound design is, is just the design of the sound. So whether that's adding an engine roar sound to a shot of a car, or adding a whoosh to a zoom transition, or adding a water trickle to a water fountain. These are all things that can make your video just that much better, and they're really quite simple, and you don't, they don't need to be complicated, although they can get complicated. So I'm in Premiere Pro, and what you see on the timeline is a finished edited project where I was just demonstrating all of the different effects included in my new effects pack, which is available on my website for anyone that's curious. I'm not the most organized person, but you can see this bottom half of the audio tracks. Not only is there the music, but there's all these different little pieces and chunks, and you can get as detailed as you want. I kept it pretty light. But what these are, if we head over to the project media bin, I organized my project into my video clips and footage and I also made a bin for sound effects. If you didn't know, whenever you create a new project, you can click this button right here and organize your things into bins. So I had went on a website called freesound.org and there's also the YouTube audio library, which gives a bunch of free sounds. And there's many other resources paid or free. I'll leave a link to those that I mentioned in the description. And I just went through cause I knew I was creating this trailer and I picked out a bunch of sound effects that I thought I might use. So whether those were whooshes that I could place on the transitions or whatever else, I organized them all and I went through my project after I kind of finished editing all the clips in sequence together. And I thought which areas could do with some extra little flair of hearing what's going on in the clips. So some quick basic tips on how to approach this and how I do it in my workflow is first of all, I edited the entire project. Then I went through again and I edited the sound and I added the sound where I wanted it. So I kind of did it as a last step in my workflow. And another thing you might notice is that I've applied a transition to the beginning and the end of some of these clips just to cross fade it in or out because sometimes they're a little bit longer than you need. For example, this one has six different whooshes in the same clip. So if I like the fourth one, I could drag it on where I need and then drag the clip ends in or cut it where I don't want. And then just so it doesn't abruptly cut in and out, I could add a little crossfade on the end and the beginning. So it's a little bit smoother. The other thing you want to keep in mind is the levels of the clip. So you can adjust the entire levels of a whole track on the left hand side. You can increase them by six or decrease them pretty infinitely. But for even more control, you can highlight specific clips, go to the effects control panel, and you have all these different audio effects. So you can actually keyframe the level, maybe if you want it to go from not as loud to a little bit louder at the peak, and even not as loud, that might be in some few cases that you might wanna do that. Or you might even wanna go to the music or dialogue if you have people talking and add keyframes to dip those a little lower and play with the balance of how all the sounds are playing together. So what you want to stand out and the viewer to hear is at the appropriate level. There's no standard universal, like it, everything should be negative this or that decibel level. My best advice is just to listen to it with your ear and see how it sounds. So for me, I went through, I listened to it, and at one point I even muted the audio track completely, and I just listened to it only with the whooshes. So by doing that, I could hear if I had the timing down proper, or if things were a little quiet or choppy or whatever I wanted. One final tip if you wanna get even more creative with it, is you can highlight the audio clips and then open the effects panel on the right hand side and go to the audio effects section and you have all these different effects to play with from distortions to high pass or low pass filters. For example, if you wanted to make something sound underwater or a little bit more distorted 
or just whatever you wanted to do. This is where the aspects of sound design can really start to become design and get a little bit more advanced. Even though we're using free stock footage, eventually as you graduate and want more control if you do, you can begin recording your own sound effects with something like a zoom recorder or even creating your own sound effects in audio specific programs. In Premiere Pro, you have different panels like the audio clip mixers, and there's so many different things you can do here which I may cover in a future video, or there's even different ways that you can adjust clip audio and gain, like by right clicking it, you can adjust audio channels, audio gain in right clicking it, and there's just many different ways to do it aside from keyframing in the effect control panel. Um, one really useful one is if you make the track big enough, you'll see this line pop up. And if you hold the command key, you can actually just click and point and create keyframes in this case for the decibel volume level. But you can use this point and click method to create keyframes for any type of effect. So those could be some future considerations to keep in mind. But in this video, I hope I've showed you this whole aspect on the bottom half of our timeline, which is the sound and audio and how something as simple as just going through and placing a little sound effects here and there, making sure it's bound with the music and speech and dialogue can really improve your video significantly with not too crazy amounts of difficult work. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely leave a like below. Let me know what you thought in the comments if you have any tips or questions or suggestions. And subscribe to my channel if you're not yet to stay tuned for future videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook if you want to reach out to me. And check out the pack that was in this video if you want to check out 40 creative effects and transitions, which I've turned into presets from all of the tutorials on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.